Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday, coming at you with 2019 Panini Select Football. Six box, half case, pick your team number 11. This comes from a fresh case as well. The second half of this case uh, is our last bit of select football, ladies and gentlemen, so get into it. So there's six, half case 11. Scott Goodman, last spot mojo, Buffalo Bills. Thanks to him and thanks everyone here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Again, the second half will be the last bit of select we'll have for for a little while, to be honest with you. All right. Um, nice. Oh. Thank you, the connect. Oh, no, I have it right here. I got it. I found it. Found it. All right. Good luck, everybody. Looking for my knife for a second here. Let's pop that open. Oh, that's a nice, nice clean rip there. We've got... Look different for a second. Oh. When did select? When did 2019 select come out? I remember it. All right, so there's three boxes in the back right there. Three boxes right over here. Let's we'll select a die. I like that one. One, two, three for this side. Four, five, six for that side. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do this right column right here. So a few months ago, yeah, I don't remember it for some reason. I was like, Breeze is on this box? All right, there you go. There's Breeze. Breeze on the box, 2019. Select football. Good luck. Well, a lot of free agent craziness, ladies and gentlemen, in this football. I think everyone should know by now, especially if you're watching the replay of this video, that Tom Brady agreeing in principle to join the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm watching NFL Network right now on this Tuesday. It's about a little bit past 10 minutes, past 5 on the West Coast. Expected to receive roughly $30 million a year. No word yet, right, on how many years... I would imagine a couple, but that's the big news of the day on this St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, SKS, I heard. No, SKS was here before, AJ. I think he he knows the joke. All right, there's 34 out of 149. Ryan Finley, jersey and autograph. Where does AJ Dalton go? I feel like there's a lot of quarterbacks that are in limbo. And there's a lot of teams that could use quarterbacks, need quarterbacks, could draft new quarterbacks. So there's going to be a lot of quarterbacks on the move.
All right, there's Ryan Ryan Finley, Mark Matheson with that one. No, SKS gets the joke. He's been around here long enough. It's going to be funny when someone, uh, like, hours later is going to be like, hey, <laughs> Philip Rivers. This is uh, field level, Philip Rivers. So I think all cards ship in this just because of the concourse level, the premier level, and the field level. So all cards ship. Oh, and I, for, I forgot about these because the, uh, XRC cards are randomized as one lot at the end of the break. I'm sure everyone read the item description, but I just wanted to highlight that again. Phil Rivers on the move. Going into, uh, going into Indianapolis, it seems like. Is that confirmed too? Points. Sorry about that. That'll also be randomized to someone as one lot. That'll be number two on the randomizer. XRCs will be number one on the randomizer. There's and there, there's Brady right there. It's gonna be funny when someone like later tonight says, "Joe, Tom Brady to the Buccaneers." I'm like, yes, we know. <laughs> We've been watching the NFL Network all day. Nothing else to do. 93 out of 99, Josh Rosen. Die cut. Where does Josh Rosen go? He's got to go somewhere. Uh, this the Josh Rosen card will go to, still go to the Dolphins and uh, will still go to Mark Matheson. There's Ezekiel Elliott. It's uh, field level silver. I guess we'll just leave that up really quick. Did I say AJ Dalton? <laughs> I meant Andy Dalton. Where does he go? Where does everyone go? D.D. Westbrook. You know someone's going to do it, Michael Blunt. Someone's going to do it later tonight. <laughs> D.D. Westbrook, Jaguars. That'll be Stephen Kelly. There's Terry McLaurin to 49. That'll be for Andy. There's LaShawn McCoy, die cut to 75. James Conner, die cut to 75. That's Steelers, Michael Gallucci. The LaShawn McCoy will go to Mark Matheson. And there's Marlon Mack right there, field level. Marlon Mack, not a silver uh, TJ in the Colts, but still a, sh a shorter print nonetheless. All right, next box. Well, I gotta look at the. I'm just looking at a list of teams right now, um, or on my list of teams right now. So, in terms of quarterbacks, Cardinals don't need a quarterback. They gave Kyler Murray DeAndre Hopkins, though, which was wild. Um, Falcons, I'm not sure if they're urgently in need of a quarterback this year. Ravens are good. Bills are good. Now, Panthers, what are the Pan Pan No, Panthers got Bridgewater. That's right. Uh, Panthers got Bridgewater. So where does Cam Newton go? Yes, for, I was just going to get to the Chicago Bears. The Bears need one ASAP. Um, so Bears still in the market, right, for QB? Andy, Andy Dalton, maybe? Cam Newton? I don't know. Bengals, are they going to stick with Ryan Finley? Or are they going to go draft someone? Probably draft someone, but... Browns are pretty much set. Cowboys didn't had to tag Prescott, but Cowboys are okay for now. I think Broncos are okay with Drew Locke for at least this, at least this season. Who did the Lions get, Frank? I mean, Lions, I think they're hoping that Stafford still stays healthy, right? SKS saying Newton to the Bears. Hey, Mr. Mike, yeah, yeah, we're doing all right. We're hanging in there. Fourteen out of twenty-five. Chris Godwin, try tie-dye. That is. It's a good time to get Chris Godwin 
Mark Madsen and the Buccaneers. He just got a new quarterback. Not official yet, but I mean, all indications seem like there's not going to be any any difficult any indications there that it's not going to go otherwise. But Chris Godwin, there you go. Had a nice season last year. Now ha should have a new quarterback thrown into him. Here's our first XRC card. That's wide receiver one. There's a Daniel Jones silver. That will be for the Giants, Mark Madsen. That is premier level. See, Sean Corbett has a serious question, though. How's Brady going to do better with a worse O-line and a run game, but better targets? Right. It'll be interesting. You think Godwin or Brady is changing their number? <laughs> There's Mitchell Trubisky, 33 out of 50. <laughs> Godwin's just like, I know you're a future Hall of Famer and a, you know, decade plus vet and the quarterback of the team, but I think I want to hold on to my number, Tom. Uh, Trubisky to the Bears, by the way, Ryan Redman. Let's see what the Bears do. There's Saquon. There's Jared Sidham. As of, as of now, that's the, that's the guy. That's the quarterback. There's TJ Hawkinson for the Lions for Jeff. That's to 49. There's Deshaun Watson, 75. Damian Willis to 175. And Sam Darnold, field level. Damian Willis will go to Mark. And the Bengals and the Deshaun Watson, who lost a big target, goes to Jeff and the Texans. Yeah, Brady will probably, probably pay Godwin just to be nice. But now I don't know, McSub, if, if Godwin can actually... Make Brady pay for the number, though. <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. I can't see him saying, "Nah, Tom. Here's my price, man. If you really want this." <laughs> and there's Jonathan Abram. My Raiders doing doing some work defensively, which was 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 a huge issue for them last year. So I was. I was happy that they really weren't in on the whole Brady thing. Now, Texans fans, have you received a, a, a good reason? Has there been an acceptable reason for why De uh, DeAndre Hopkins was moved for seemingly so little? I mean, I thought they'd get more. I actually don't know what their cap situation is like, so maybe maybe money had a lot more to do with it. Maybe they really wanted David Johnson. I mean, I don't know, but... I mean, I think we were always keeping Derek Carr, Kyle. I think... Uh, I think they were always saying... I, th I think they want to figure out other parts of the team first, the defense and... And, and getting a lot of key pieces in the offense together before the Raiders really start thinking about the quarterback change. It might take a couple years. Actually, that's not a bad idea, Sean. Yeah, maybe Brady doesn't stick with the number and then he goes and, and, and says, uh, you know, new chapter in my life, new number. But he has so much... But he has so much stuff that's branded TB12. I feel like he wouldn't give it up. All right. Deontay Johnson, two-color patch and autograph. Uh, 
Uh, that's 20 out of 49 for Michael Gulushi, Seal Curtain. And then we've got Adam Humphreys autograph for the Titans. That'll be for Scott Goodman in Tennessee. Yeah, like I was saying, Callie, I, I like that the Raiders were focusing on on uh, on some defense. Which I like. Maybe they'll they'll do well through the draft. And they'll kind of take another small step forward this year. Then they could reevaluate again what they're gonna what they can do and then I don't think the Raiders are really going to be worrying about a quarterback for an, at least another season or two. Probably more. Kike Kuti Relic, go to Jeff and the Texans. Unless the Texans, are the Texans in on a wide receiver? Maybe with their first round pick? Maybe that's how they're going to go. Maybe they, they really like someone like in that first round area where, where they're like, we'll go receiver. There's Tariq Cohen, 84 out of 99. There's Hunter Renfro. Juwan Williams for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders in this one? Anthony. Anthony Juarez with my Raiders. Uh, yeah, Mariota's on the Raiders, Tony, but not as a... Uh, but not as a starter. I think they've clearly said that that he was signed as a as, I and mean, that could be smoke and mirrors. But he, that he was signed as a backup quarterback. And what Kyle Kramer thinking? I'd be crazy, but Derek Carr, New England. I'm not I'm not sure if I can. I mean, what 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 would the Raiders get back in return? I agree, McSub. I can see I can see Mariota being used as like a Taysom Hill type type player, which he kind of did with when Tannehill was there. They sort of touched upon that. Um, you, we saw that maybe a couple times in the playoffs and later in the season. So I can see that that kind of usage happening—a little more creative use of of Mariota and his legs. Right, and I, Callie, you're right. I think it puts a little more pressure on Derek Carr, too, to be like, hey, you know, like, we need you to step up and take the next level if you can. So there'll be some evaluation there, too. Rex is saying instead of flags being displayed at half mass, footballs are being deflated all over New England in honor of Tom Brady. Nice, Rex. Who wrote that joke for you? Credit one of your writers, man. Rex is a whole writing team. Taysom Hill, another versatility. It took Taysom Hill a minute or two to, to kind of get to how he's being used now. Maybe Mariota could develop into that role. But I think there's... I think for the most part... Gruden is pretty happy with with Derek Carr and his ability to kind of grasp the playbook and whatnot. But there has been some rumbling. It's just like, well, he, uh, he kind of wishes that that uh, Carr would use his legs a little bit more. As Robert Wood said, but but when he uses his legs, that goes to Philip, by the way. When he uses his legs, we've seen some some awkward uh, ball control issues from Derek Carr. There's Debo jersey and autograph. For the Niners, Tyler, Tyler Brenner with that. So maybe they're trying to uh, maybe they're trying to add Mariota into the, into the mix to maybe use it. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to use him, but it'll be in, it'll be interesting to see. And Sean Taylor, nice. Justice Hill to seventy-five. DK Metcalf, rookie silver, by the way. I kind of like that. That's a nice one. Seahawks with that one. Quentin Reese. Sean Murphy bunting. We've got Jelani Tavai to 175 for the Lions. Josh Jacobs, rookie silver. And we've got Michael Dixon 
for the Seattle Seahawks. Quentin Reese with the Hawks of the Sea. Josh Jacobs, rookie, field level, Raiders. That'll be for Anthony. Silver as well. That's for the Lions. That's to 175. Miles Garrett, tricolor to 99. And we got Joe Mixon, select relic, spark relic, I think, for Mark Matheson. 90 out of 99 on that one, Mark. Nick Bosa, Brett Favre, tie-dye to 25. That's a cool-looking one for Charles and the Packers. Uh, no, no more Obsidian football, Tony. If we had it, I think we would have would have posted it. I do like that Obsidian. Got Obsidian soccer, which is coming up. No, Rex, I thought you had a comedy writing team that does all your work. All right, where did I leave off? Right, Cowboy, I was talking about quarter, I was going through the list of teams for quarterbacks. Broncos, Drew Locke, Lions may need to see what Stafford's health situation is. Packers are set. Texans have set. Colts got Phillip Rivers. Jaguars? I mean, I mean, maybe they got a lot of money tied up in full, so maybe they'll just go with, go with the Jaguars, um, or they'll just go with Foles for the Jaguars. Maybe some Minchu waiting in the wings. Chiefs are obviously set. Chargers. Sean Corbett, who's a big Chargers fan, is seems to be convinced that Easton Stick is the guy. I don't buy it, but maybe they will stick with him. I don't know. I think Rams are going to be set. Dolphins still up in the air. Maybe they'll go draft. Vikings are, are set for, for better or for worse. Patriots could use somebody. Saints are uh, – Breeze is coming back. Jets have uh, Darnold. Um, Raiders – can do the Raiders? No, I think the Raiders are set at quarterback. Steve Olsen, they're spending their money like I hope they'd spend their money on, on defense is where they're putting that money and like leadership, Jason Witten. So I think the Raiders are set, Eagles are set, Steelers. Where's Steelers? Steelers. What are the Steelers going to do? I don't know what what Big Ben's health situation is, but he's not getting any younger. There's Gary Jennings Jr., 41 out of 49. Niners I think are set with Garoppolo at least for the time being. Seattle Seahawks have Russell Wilson, Buccaneers uh, apparently are going to get Brady. Titans, Tannehill was extended, I think, and the Redskins have Dwayne Haskins. And one out of five, Ezekiel Elliott. Woo! Cowboys, Mark Matson and the boys. Gets the Ezekiel Elliott red parallel, which are one out of five. Nice. Mark, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And there's the Debo field level. Silver. Yeah, Cam to the Steelers, maybe? Trubisky, Dalton, or maybe through the draft? There's a lot of QBs in the draft, too, so that's, it's going to be a lot of interesting things. Maybe that's running back, too, by the way. That's the lot right there. I mean, there, Cam Newton could be, you know, a quick one-season fix for a team that maybe wants to draft a quarterback. I don't know. So, but now that the Tom Brady domino has, has dropped, all indications are saying it has dropped. There's Miles Boyk, a nice patch there for the Ravens, Mark Madison. Then I think we'll see the other dominoes start to drop, too, where all these other quarterbacks are going to go.
And then, then we'll see, hey, who's going to draft quarterbacks? I think Brady cards in a Bucks uni will be a, a, a big chase. There's Jared Goff to 75. I think he is at of that level where or there'll be a lot of excited Bucks fans who are going to be like, let's uh, let's get Brady in his Bucks uni. There's Patrick Mahomes to 99. Oh, would you would you re-sign Winston too? Have Winston sit behind Brady? See, that's interesting. Everyone thinks that Winston's going elsewhere, but maybe he just gets re-signed and stays. That's a possibility. Well, you think Haskins gets traded? Sean Corbett's speculating. Maybe the Bengals trade for Haskins. Redskins take it. I guess Redskins do have a new coach. So maybe the Redskins coach is like R Rivera, right? Ron Rivera, I think. Um, maybe new Redskins coach is like Haskins, not my guy. And kind of do what the Cardinals did. Ooh, that's that's actually not not too not not crazy, Sean Corbin. I think Steve Olson Bridgewater is locked in, isn't he? In Carolina? I thought Bridgewater was locked in. That's what the gang was saying earlier. To Carolina. I mean, no one's holding up jerseys yet. You know what I mean? So I guess anything could change. Brady's not holding up a Bucks jersey yet, but... But as of... Yeah, that's why I saw this morning, too. I don't think anyone's changed since this morning, but... But uh, Bridgewater to replace Cam in Carolina. That's what the news seven, eight hours ago, that, w that was the report. So again, no one's holding up jerseys yet, but there's no press conferences yet, but that's what it seems to be unless something, like something, something breaks down, you know, like. But I don't mind Kyle Crane. I don't mind the idea of of Winston kind of marinating behind Brady, though. Last box. Second half of this case in the store, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. It gives a good excuse to talk more football, too. Von Miller to 25. But oh, you think Will Greer deserves a chance to prove himself? Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought I thought they'd give him a, a shot too, but I guess not. There's Haskins right there to 149. Andy with that one. Terry McLaurin, his teammate right there, and Terry McLaurin, there's a piece of his jersey right there. So Andy, some Redskins. I feel like Rosen's got to end up somewhere though. Right? Yeah, Rosen's been been in some bad situations, AJ. You know, so so maybe he'll there's Haskins right there, but what? <laughs> Teddy saying that that Rosen's going to end up at UPS. He'll be delivering like NT cases to us in a few weeks. There's DK Metcalf to 149. I feel I feel like he just didn't get bounced from uh 15 out of 25, tie-dye Miles Sanders. Woo! Don't show this to Jason. Don't look, Jason. Don't look, Jason. No, I see you looking. Did you see it? Pretty nice, huh? Tie-dye Miles Sanders, boys and girls. Um, that goes to, who's got the Eagles? Michael Jones with the Fly Eagles Fly, 15 out of 25. That's a good looking one. Josh Jarrett Stidham, Gold Velocity, 10 out of 10. This could be a big one. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's their quarterback. That goes to the Patriots, Karen Steele. 
Well, yeah. What are what, so Sam? What are the Sam Strayer saying? Pittsburgh has like five quarterbacks: Rudolph, Paxton, Lynch, Hodges, Ben, J.T. Barrett. What are they gonna do? I feel like they'll let Big Ben play, right, and then and then worry about you know worry about getting someone else later. Maybe they get someone in the draft, move some backups along. There's Chase Winovich for Karen and the Pats. I think uh, it's 27 out of 20. I think Karen is in the healthcare industry, if I'm not mistaken, Karen. So I hope with all this COVID craziness that you're doing okay out there on the front lines. There's Debo again, field level. There's Alexander Madison to 75. And there's your break. I got a couple randomizers to do. Thanks, everybody. Good to chat. Good, good to have some sports news, huh? Good to have an exciting free agency period. All right. So name on top, we'll get these two XRC cards, RB2 and WR1. And the second name, we'll get the 250 points, little consolation prize. Remember, the second half is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, if you want to go and get it. Please do. I don't think we'll have any more select again for a little bit. So get it while you can. John, down to Andy and everyone in between. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three times name on top after top two names, actually, after three. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got Andy with the 250 points and the two XRC cards. Go to Mark Matheson. There you go, Mark. Thanks for watching, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's Case Break Stock. Oh, breaking news. Steve Olson might be looking for a new team if Carolina gets rid of Christian McCaffrey. So Steve Olson, free agent, possibly, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what team he signs with this upcoming season. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.